Mexico Video Corner. You may remember last week, um, around the time of um, Mother's Day, um, I managed to pick up these, uh, nice and cheap. Um, well, I didn't pick them up, um, the missus picked them up because I wasn't going out. Um, but they look awesome now. Uh, opened up, brightened the place up. Um, I'm just not too sure how uh, skilled I am at keeping them alive, but they're here for now. So, lockdown means uh, new ideas, new ways of doing things, new ways of entertaining ourselves. And first off, first off today I want to share this with you from the Scottish Book Trust. Um, they they uh, tweeted, uh, what are your lunch plans uh, for lunch today? Fancy tucking into our first hashtag reading lunch. Uh, we'll be reading, eating and talking about books between uh, 12 and 2 to join in. Uh, simply tweet us a pic of your book and you uh, and or your lunch. Uh, sit and read by yourself or as a family. And I thought that was a great idea. And uh, people joined in with that and it's interesting to see what um, people are reading as well. So I thought that was a, a, a nice nice idea there. Um, we're going to ha now have a um, double portion of uh, act of kindness. Um, and first of all, first up is uh, this from... Uh, Damien Varginiak, uh, I think I've pronounced that correctly. Um, he is, he can be found uh, on Twitter at Chef Consultant uh, and his restaurant is at House of Feasts. And he tweeted this. Hey, sourdough bread is now available for those uh, vulnerable who can't afford food. Just come over and pick up your loaf. It's free outside at House of Feasts. I'll leave a few loaves every day. And uh, if you take a take a look at his restaurant, uh, there, uh, there you can see he's got a nice sign out there uh, say, telling us to uh, stay safe. Uh, and then closer up near the door, um, you can see his little tray there of um, plenty of loaves, actually. Uh, if you're in Peterborough, it is. Um, if you're in Peterborough uh, and it's a bit difficult for you at the moment, then there you go, that's a, that's a lovely gesture. And actually, if you um, follow uh, Damien on, on Twitter, at Chef Consultant, um, you'll see that uh, that's not just his only act of kindness. He, he has plenty going on. So check him out on Twitter. And uh, if you're in Peterborough and things are a bit difficult for you, uh, that's a nice little initiative that he's, uh, he's doing right there. Now... Finally, uh, and I said to you that we'd be having a, a double portion of Act of Kindness. This one I loved. This is um, we're going from uh, Cambridgeshire down south now to Bedfordshire. Um, this is from Nick Martin. He's um, principal of the Samuel Whitbread Academy uh, in Bedfordshire. He can be found at Martin underscore N Martin. And uh, he, I th this was awesome. I'd like, to, I'd like to think that a lot of schools and colleges uh, are following the, the lead of uh, the Samuel Whitbread Academy. And this is what uh, Nick tweeted yesterday. He wrote, uh, we emailed Luton and Dunstable Hospital yesterday and offered them our science goggles. They've just rung to say yes, please. Wonder if any other secondary schools out there could do likewise. I'm sure your local hospital would appreciate it. We've got over 350, so it will definitely help. That's awesome there from the Samuel Whitbread Academy. I'd like to think that um, lots of people um, in colleges and secondary schools will be thinking now, maybe we could do our bit to help. So awesome act of kindness right there. Um, that's all for today. If you've liked it, then share it or follow it or subscribe to it. Um, many thanks and more coming soon.